good reptile lovers of course it's your boy rock and we are back with another video and today is a special video man i got me some new reptiles that i'm gonna show you man i went to a reptile expo last week man really enjoyed myself had a good time it was a smaller more type intimate type reptile show nothing large and crazy like that but hey man they had a whole bunch of great vendors it was at the chesapeake conference center in virginia for Exoticon, man. So, hey, first person I want to give a shout out to, man. Hey, let's give a shout out to Rick Kermrines Reptiles, man. This is where I got this beauty from. So, you can check him out on Facebook, on Instagram. Hey, man, he's a great person. Got some great reptiles. So, hey, if y'all want to do it, check him out, man. So, let's show you what I got from him up there. And here goes my baby. Let me grab her. As you can see, I got me a reticulated python. This is a orange glow reticulated python. And her name is Queen Akasha, man. So this is my new girl. She is very beautiful. She's very cool. Very, you know, docile. He said she's never struck at him or any of her siblings in a clutch. So I'm just happy to have this thing. As you know, reticulated pythons, you can find them in Indonesia, Southeast Asia. They have a large range. They have a lot of small islands that they come on to. They have about a 3,000 mile range. So, man, it's a whole bunch of different color patterns, more mutations. You know, man, there are the world's longest snake. But, hey, a lot of it depends on how much you feed them. I mean, they're going to get large. So, if you're not ready for a large constrictor or a large snake, this is not for you. If you're a beginner, I would highly recommend trying something different. You know, maybe going with a boa constrictor if you or a larger colubrid first, just to get a feel of a large snake. You know, I have plenty of experience with large animals. So, like I said, this is not for everybody. So don't, you know, they, they come out like these little cute babies, but you know, in a few years, she'd probably be 12. 14, 16 plus feet long. So, you know, that's just something that you got to look out for, making sure you have the space, making sure you have the resources as far as food, caging, you know, just all the things that you have to have to have a successful and thriving creature. So don't just go out and get something off of impulse, you know, do your research, you know, study the, hu the husbandry, study what they need, things that they like, like in her cage right now, I have a nice little, you know, got some tree branches in there that I had baked and, you know, sterilized before I put them in her cage. And, hey, she loves crawling on those things. Matter of fact, last night she was just chilling in the tree, literally, like, the whole night she was on her little branch, just curled up, just chilling. So, man, just make sure you do your research and you know what you're getting into before you get into it. Don't just go out and buy something just because you see it at the pet shop or you see it at a reptile expo and it's a little thing like this. You have to understand that these are going to become large, very large snakes in the future. So as long as that is something that you want and, you did your, and you've done your research and you know what to expect and what you're going to get out of it, you know, I tell anybody, if it's something that you want and that you're in for for the long haul, like you're not just here to get it and then next year, once it gets six, seven feet, now you're ready to sell it or get rid of it, man. Like, you know, I understand sometimes life does come up, things happen in life, situations change, so you might have to give it up. But your whole thing when you get a, any any animal, any pet, a dog, a cat, man, your whole thing should be getting those animals until the day that they're no longer here until the day they pass away. And man, this is my girl. As you can see, she's very mellow. Like I said, she's an orange glow. You could, I know the camera's probably not doing the colors any justice, but man, she is beautiful. And her iridescence is wonderful, man. So again, shout out to Rick Kermrine Reptiles for this beautiful girl right here. He's a very cool guy, so make sure you go Check his Facebook page out. Go check out his Instagram, all his social media. And like I said, he has plenty of animals to choose from. He doesn't just have retakes. He has Burmese pythons, ball constrictors, uh, ball pythons, colubrids. Pretty much 
most most pet snakes that you can think of he has a lot of that he has a lot of different variety and inventory so man go check him out real wonderful guy real down to earth guy had a great conversation with him so man hey this is my girl queen akasha and i just wanted to show off you know this is a little video i told you when i get something new i'll show you guys as you can see she's very curious she likes to roam around and go around and live she's getting a close-up say hello to the people yes that is my beautiful girl man so hey if you like this video man hit that like button man if you haven't already please turn and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel because we're coming more back with more bangers and hey i appreciate y'all man continue to love and support the channel and hey happy easter and be blessed out there peace